Hey, how's it going? The store's name is synonymous with secrecy. But word is spreading. Hot classics. About Sub Rosa. And then that's it for another two minutes. The bakery at 25th and Jefferson is fast becoming a landmark beyond Church Hill. That's a nice one, huh? Tempting tarts and fresh flatbreads draw hungry customers far and wide. Um, I probably am here one or two times a week. Bakers Evram and Avine Doe. Yes, Doe. Opened in 2012. Once we found this kind of perfect spot on multiple levels, then it became really real. In six years, the siblings and their custom brick oven have attracted national attention. The ingredients on all of them is the grain, water, and salt. And that's it. 100% from our mill. Sub Rosa is contending for a James Beard Award. Wow, really? Cool. <laughs> which is akin to an Oscar in the food industry. These are quiche, little individual quiche. The pastries are incredible, so it's easy to see why. My friend was just saying that she's here. She said that it could have been better than the one she had in Paris. So <laughs> I think that's pretty good. <laughs> no loafing here. You start to get muscles doing this. The days long, the work grueling, especially in the early days. There was no time that we left, really. We would just go upstairs to sleep. But the does never let the flour-covered routine weigh them down. We call it bakery sitting. The children of Turkish immigrants, Evrim began by selling his artisanal breads at farmer's markets. And this is how you stay fit as a baker. You just don't stop moving. Evine learned pastry making from scratch. The idea is just to move the top to the bottom and the bottom to the top. The dough's secret? Need natural ingredients with lots of passion. When you're in the trenches together, you get along because you have to. And we just naturally get along, too. The brother and sister may be rising to the top, but their journey has been anything but a cakewalk. Five years ago. April 3rd, uh, 2013. Their phones rang in the middle of the night. The bakery was burning. It was just a tenant of ours saying, the, the building's on fire. That's the only, and then it hung up. And I, you know, just leaped out of bed. A discarded cigarette ignited the building. And I see everybody lined up watching. It was a, the neighborhood was kind of out. I just remember running to the firefighters and asking, like, is everyone okay? The Doe's business was going up in smoke and watered down. We come in and the oven, which is the symbol of, you know, the fire and hearth, has water dripping on it as if it's raining inside. I mean, that's surreal. Damages topped more than $400,000. But not once did the does consider walking away. We we're just so in that cycle that we just couldn't imagine not being open somehow. Customers and other business owners rallied, raising nearly $30,000 towards repairs. There's a sense of community, but then there's almost a sense of family. And when you go through a crisis, you, you see the difference between the two. It makes it vibrant, makes you feel like you want to stay here. Awesome, thank you. Nine months removed from the fire, Yvine and Evram relit the oven. But when we reopened, we had a line all the way around the door. Much to the delight of their growing clientele. The food's delicious. <laughs> Yvine and Evram share a bond thicker than dough, building on their reputation while baking a legacy. Sometimes it'll be important for us to just stop and say, so how are you doing, <laughs> you know? Yeah. How do you... How's life? How is life? Despite the recognition and nomination, they remain humble. It's very satisfying. These siblings are only letting their success go to their bread. That makes us want to keep going, keep doing what we're doing and do it better. All right. The dynamic dough duo reached the semifinal round in one of 21 restaurant and chef categories. The semifinalists will be judged by 600 culinary experts nationwide. The James Beard Foundation will announce the finalists on March 14th. And two other Richmonders were nominated as well. Chef Brittany Anderson, owner of Brenner Pass, and Anne Bouy, owner of Mekong. We wish them luck. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.